Colin Kaepernick boldly kneeled during the national anthems at NFL games, and he hasn't been welcomed back to the NFL since. Recently, in a letter to the New York Jets, Colin Kaepernick begged for an opportunity to join their practice squad. Why is Kaepernick's letter to the Jets drawing so much attention? And does Cap deserve a chance to redeem himself in the NFL? Let's get into it. First, let's quickly go through the letter that Kaepernick sent the Jets. Joe, I hope this letter finds you in great spirits, despite the less than ideal start to a big season. I'm wishing you, your staff, and the players a great game this weekend as you look to bounce back. I'm writing, of course, in response to the unfortunate loss of Aaron Rodgers. I know the aspirations this season were and still are to win a championship, and so that Hall of Fame-sized hole will need to be filled as best as possible to keep the team on a Super Bowl track. As of right now, Zach Wilson is charged with that task, and I wish him the best and the rest of the team the best moving forward. However, I know that there are currently depth issues at the position, and I have heard that the backup spot is likely to be filled by a veteran quarterback. As much as I'd love the opportunity to fill that spot, I'm writing you in hopes that you can imagine a much different approach involving me. I'd be honored and extremely grateful for the opportunity to come in and lead the practice squad. I would do this with the sole mission of getting your defense ready each week. If I were able to fill this role for the team, I believe this allows for multiple things. One, it gives your defense the advantage of getting a truer read on the more mobile, athletic, versatile quarterbacks it'll face in weeks four, five, and six. Mahomes, Wilson, and Hertz. I would consider it a privilege to be able to do this and would take on this responsibility with the dedication and passion as if it were the QB1 position. Two, this would also allow you guys as an organization to take a real look at where I am football-wise in game-like situations against an elite defense while not putting any competitive pressure on Zach. I understand the importance of keeping him confident and focused as QB1, and would only look to boost that confidence in any interactions that we may have if I was given this role within the team. In a perfect world for the Jets, Zach Wilson finds his stride and shows that he's able to lead this championship-caliber team that you've put together to the Super Bowl. I believe a confident Zach Wilson has the tools to do this. However, in the event that this is not the case, I'd love to offer you a risk-free contingency plan. There's definitely a lot to unwrap here. For starters, why was this letter made public? The reason this letter was publicized was because rapper J. Cole wanted to show the world how willing Kaepernick is to join an NFL team and how hard he's trying to find an opportunity. In the past, there's been speculation that Kaepernick hasn't actually wanted to return to the NFL, and this letter puts those beliefs to rest. But there's way more to get into here. People are losing their minds and sharing various opinions, siding with Kaepernick and also in criticism of Kaepernick's plea. And that's because Kaepernick didn't leave the NFL on typical terms. When Colin Kaepernick entered the NFL, he was unbelievable, almost immediately. He stole the job from veteran Alex Smith in his second NFL season and took the 49ers to the Super Bowl with sensational flair. He could run like a gazelle and had a rifle for an arm. But as his career progressed, Kaepernick began using his platform as an NFL player to protest against police brutality towards people of color. He did so by kneeling during the singing of the national anthem before the games. His actions drew plenty of controversy as plenty of NFL players followed suit. At one point, the conversations about who was standing and who was kneeling during NFL games drew more attention than the games themselves. And Kaepernick earned both praise and hate for his actions. On one side, you had people that thought that he was bringing awareness to a serious issue that had deep roots in the United States, but others believed that it was disrespectful to the flag and the country to choose the anthem as a time to protest. He became extremely polarizing, even receiving attention from President Barack Obama, who praised his actions, and Donald Trump, who criticized them. Eventually, Kaepernick was released by the 49ers and was unable to get another job in the NFL, not even as a backup. It was an unusual circumstance since at the time he definitely had the talent that made him worthy of a roster spot. But with so much controversy tied to his name, no owner was willing to sign him. Signing Kaepernick at the time could lose any team plenty of fans that believed his actions were disrespectful and un-American. But others were speculating that Kaepernick didn't actually want to join the NFL. In some ways, his new reputation as the rebel that was shunned from the league for speaking up made him more marketable than the majority of other players in the league. 
Since kneeling, Kaepernick has become a poster boy for Nike and also signed a contract with Netflix who made a documentary about him. But this letter, recently released, proved that's not the case. The guy still wants to play. Charlemagne the God, a famous radio personality, criticized Kaepernick's letter to the Jets for begging a league to take him back that he called racist. We disagree with that stance, though. Kaepernick was never calling the NFL racist. He was using the NFL as a platform to speak up about racism in America, particularly among police officers. Another element worth discussing is whether or not Kaepernick should get a chance to play in the NFL at this point. Is he talented enough? He definitely had the talent when he stopped playing in the league seven years ago, but it's difficult to determine how good he'd be now. However, reports are that he's kept himself in physical shape and his athleticism was never in question. At age 35, coming off a long rest, Kaepernick could potentially have the skills to help the Jets. The Jets recently lost Aaron Rodgers, who was supposed to be their starter to his season-ending injury, and now they're stuck depending on Zach Wilson. In theory, giving Kaepernick a role on the practice squad as he requested has limited downside and might actually give them a viable option at the quarterback position. However, we also understand the Jets' reluctancy. Time has passed, and Kaepernick's haters might not be as loud right now, but you could be certain that if he was brought back into the league, those pundits would speak up about their discontent once again. And he would also receive more attention as a practice player than almost any starter currently in the league. The whole situation could serve as a distraction to a Jets team that still has playoff aspirations. Taking these outcomes into consideration, we can understand why the Jets are unwilling to take the risk to bring Kaepernick into the mix. At age 35, the likelihood of him becoming the difference maker that the Jets would need him to be is just too low. Rumors are swirling that other leagues are interested in Kaepernick's services. The BC Lions of the Canadian Football League recently added him to their negotiations list. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been trying to recruit Kaepernick to the XFL, stating that it's his best avenue to showing his talents to NFL teams. But Kaepernick doesn't want to play in another league. As an accomplished NFL player who already monetizes off his own name and likeness, he doesn't need to play minor or alternative league football. The guy just wants to play in the NFL. What do you guys think? Does Kaepernick deserve a shot with the team? At age 35, do you think he could still be a difference maker? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more sports news and insights.